New technology continues to transform our lives, and one of the most innovative technology may be arguably artificial intelligence, and it may also be changing the field of journalism. I had a chance to be part of it myself, the making of AI anchor Jennifer. It's our Am um Ji Young's news features this week. And that's News Center. Thank you for watching, everyone. I'm Moon Gan Young in Seoul. Wherever you are in the world, stay safe and stay strong. We'll get through this. Take care. Gan Young Jennifer Moon, principal anchor and managing editor at Arirang News. My respected senior colleague is based in Seoul, South Korea. But recent visitors to Las Vegas might have spotted her twin. Amid the glitz and glamour of the entertainment capital of the world, her twin is busy at work at the Consumer Electronics Show. Artificial intelligence is one of the hottest topics at this year's CES, and eye-catching innovations delight tech fans, both young and old. Samsung's AI avatar, a personal assistant slash digital housekeeper, orders pizza for its master and does the house chores. And looking like a real person beyond imagination's humanoid even plays rock, paper, scissors. Yet the center of the attention covered by a host of news outlets is AI anchor Jennifer, the AI version of Arirang TV's very own Moon Gan Young. It is very nice to have you here. Actually, if I went to like the anchor station, TV station, I would be able to see her given the news. Well, on TV, you'll be able to see, the, see her. Sure. Arirang TV, the Korea-based global network broadcast to more than 100 countries, teamed up with South Korean firm Deep Brain AI, winner of this year's CES Innovation Award for Real-Time Video and Voice Synthesis Technology. Together, they created the one-of-a-kind AI anchor Jennifer Moon, unveiled for the very first time at CES 2022. But the journey behind the making of AI anchor Jennifer was hardly an easy one. Well, obviously, it's my first time testing out this artificial intelligence uh, human, so I'm a little nervous. Um, I don't know what to expect, but I'm going to find out. In many ways, the development of AI Jennifer is similar to cooking a dish. First, the ingredients are selected and gathered before the cooking starts. Gan Young has over 5,000 sentences to read from the newscast, which will later be used to train AI anchor Jennifer. Of course, for Gan Young, it's completely different from the actual anchoring she's used to. AI 차량은 일반이랑 다르게 이런 고정이 중요해서 해야 하는 고정으로 하고 메이크업은 최대한 윤광이 안 나게 매트하게 해드리고 있습니다. 그래야지 나중에 합성이 좀 편해서. I'm very restricted on my movements. So for instance, I shouldn't be moving my hands too much or I shouldn't move my head too much. And also I can't add lip at all. Uh, and as you know, um, I'm, I'm a big ad liver during the, my newscast, and I, I move around a lot. I'm a very free news anchor, if you will. So it's a little difficult for me to stick to the script word for word and to really stay absolutely still during the entire um, however many hours of filming. The deep learning AI resembles the characteristics of the person who we film. Kwon Young has the characteristics that are within the ideal range as a model, so I think the result will turn out well. Days of full day filming is demanding physically and psychologically. Tens of thousands of lines of new scripts in English for the next three days. And in the latter half of my filming, which is probably on the fifth or sixth day, will be filming um, the news in Korean. And so, um, and then they'll make an AI version of me, which will be a bilingual anchor, I suppose. I forgot something. Delays are caused by the tiniest details, like small earrings that need to be exactly the same as previous shoots. I feel terrible about everything. 
I feel bad that I'm losing my voice. I feel bad that I forgot my earrings. I feel bad that I look tired. <sighs> I just feel bad about everything. Very different from what I'm doing in news. Not only does Konyong film tens of thousands of news sentences in English, but also in the Korean language, as AI Jennifer is designed to present the news like the bilingual that Konyong is. No, I thought it was just um, a couple of Korean words in in English articles, but um, basically what I'm doing is um, reading out a Korean news article that would be one for Korean Korean news anchors. So it's very challenging and um, it's day six, is it, of filming. So I'm, I'm losing my voice as well. Um, so it, it is very challenging, but at the same time, the project itself is exciting. So yeah, I'm getting there. Filming is just half the work done, however. Once Konyong and the production team are done, the data pre-processing team get to work. First, separate her audio from the video footage and sort them out so that AI Jennifer can better learn and perfectly mimic the genuine Jennifer. What we regard as highly important are the quality of the audio and the accuracy of the text. We go over all the sentences to minimize errors and make a high-quality learning material for the AI. Konyong's tone, speed and voice were very professional and stable, so we didn't have to revise much in extracting the best quality audio. When the pre-processing is finished, the sorted data is reintegrated with the video. Then the data is cut into over a hundred thousand pieces in order to feed the AI. With the processed data, the AI educates itself by internalizing them about a million times through trial and error. AI anchor Jennifer is special in the sense that she has a naturalness that other AIs do not have. We tried hard to embrace most of the anchor's motions and her expressions. It's after weeks and months of work and the combined efforts of the whole team that AI Jennifer finally got to see the light of the day. And our very own Moon Ganyang ultimately comes face to face with her twin at the world's largest consumer electronics show in Las Vegas. Uh, it's actually my first time seeing myself um, after filming all that hours. I think this is where the future will be. Users of the lifelike anchor can type in whatever text they would like the AI anchor to read and deliver off. Not only she can move and present the news like Konyong, but she can interact with people in real time. What do you like about CES? CES 2022 will be housing various technologies particularly in newly trending metaverse, robotics and artificial intelligence such as myself. In this case, it's an AI anchor, but the firm's video synthesis solutions leverage the power of artificial intelligence to create human-based AI avatars so that users can choose from a list of AI humans and professions to cater to relevant industries. We are currently providing AI studios that can service uh, using their service, uh, any users can create their own AI videos. You can choose uh, AI model first, and then you can type the text script, and then you can create uh, AI videos uh, within just a uh, few seconds. There's no denying that this breakthrough begs the question, can AI really replace human journalists? I think, you know, an anchor is there, like I said, as a storyteller who can empathize with the viewers and tell a story and who can also carry on an interview and conversations and dialogues. So at the moment, I think, I think I'm a little safe, but, but you never know what will happen with this fourth industrial revolution and the evolution of digital technology. Om Ji-young, Arirang News.